Stereolithography is a technical process in which a workpiece is constructed in layers with the aid of screen dots freely materializing in space. The production of one or several simultaneously produced pieces is usually fully automatic and based on data generated by a computer. In the video you see a device producing such workpieces. You can imagine the process much like a printer except that with stereolithography the material is printed in three rather than two dimensions. Here you see a stereolithographic model of a lower jaw. The information used to create this model was obtained from CT data. This patient was involved in a traffic accident and lost not just her teeth but parts of her jaw as well. On the left you can clearly recognize the missing bone. On the right, you can see that the missing part was replaced with a pink compound. Here is the front view once more. Using the stereolithographic model, an absorbable foil was formed, which will serve as a kind of placeholder for bone substitute material. Here you see an image of the mouth. You can recognize the lips, parts of the tongue, the base of the mouth, and the missing jawbone. First, the location of the incision is determined with a marker. Only then is the mucosa cut open and folded to the side, making the leftover jawbone more visible. Any scar tissue is thoroughly removed, and the surface of the remaining bone is roughed up in order to facilitate the growing in of the bone substitute material. Then the mold is inserted. The mold fits the defect precisely, because the stereolithographic model was obtained from the patient's CT data. Now the bone substitute material is inserted below the foil and the mold prevents the bone substitute material from shifting. Because of these placeholders you don't have to use your own bone blocks. Finally the PLA foil is fastened to special pins in the bone which are biodegradable. Now the wound is sutured so that saliva cannot enter it. One week after surgery the wound has healed well. One can still see the suture material. In the lateral image, you can clearly recognize the positive change in the facial profile resulting from the bone augmentation. After about six months, a CT check is performed, and if the bone has formed well, an implant is placed. The patient then receives artificial teeth again. By means of these models, surgeries that were impossible only a short while ago can now be performed. Here you see a stereolithographic model of a patient with a malignant tumor. Fortunately, with the use of the model, the surgery can be planned. The incisions, in effect the so-called resection boundaries, can thus be determined in advance. After the removal of the tumor, the face will be reconstructed with the exception of the eye. Such planning models help surgeons anticipate the course of surgery in advance.